I can't believe it. I wanted to pause or press stop instead. Anyway, gives me more time, I guess. So T is 0.922. So three sig fig. 1.69. Oops. And 3.02. Rad. And that ma matches with the completed pack. But I've done it in such an easy way just by using the calculator there. Okay, so to show you my view window, so it's not to pi um, and it's minus 1.1 to 1.1. So that's the end of what is potentially your page 9. That was a long example because it took a whole 10 minutes to explain, so I'm sorry about that. If you look on the next page, it's quite nice, it's just using the max and min bit. I don't need a calculator or anything, so I'll put it on full screen. Um, next page. So this is potentially your page 10. So it says write down the max and min values on when it occurs. Right. So a box. Yeah. So remember, max is equal to 1, min is equal to minus 1. So the maximum value is 2 plus 3 is 5. The minimum value, 2 plus 3. 3 lots of minus 1 you can see it as. So I wonder if I should see that as 3 lots of the plus 1. Because I'm changing the box to minus 1. It occurs when the red box is equal to 1. So that's cos of theta plus 45 is 1. It occurs when the box is equal to minus one. Right. Next one. Oh, look at this. This is a bit cheeky, isn't it? So this next one here, if I make that box maximum equal to one, minimum equal to minus one. Now, I'm thinking a little bit more of this, but you've got to be a little bit messy with this one. Because <laughs> if I put one in there, think what's going to happen. So if I put one in, I've actually got five minus four lots of one. That's a five. And if I put minus one in, you get five minus four lots of minus one. So this one, the maximum value on the cos graph occurs when it, at one. But in this ex specific example, it actually gives me the biggest value for the whole equation if I use the minus one. So I've got to think about what I'm going to stick it here. So if I put one in, it won't give me the biggest value for that specific graph because of this minus sign here. So I'm going to stick a minus in there and that will give me nine out as an answer. And that's when cos of theta plus 30 is equal to minus one. So this one could cause a lot of confusion. Because the max value is at 1 and the min value is at minus 1 in the cos graph. But then inside the equation, because of that minus, it flips things. So the min value here is 5 minus 4, that's a plus 1. So this could cause you, like I said, this could cause you a lot of confusion. And if you think that one causes you confusion, this one here is going to cause you even more confusion. If I do my box, if I set my box to equal to 1, I'm squaring it. So I'm going to square my 1, which gives me 1. If I set my box to minus 1, I'll square it it still gives me one out, which means the value of that, that new equation will be three plus two lots of one for both of them because of the square bit. So I've got to be a little bit cheeky here with this one. And this is a random one. If it's got the squared in, so if cos or sine 
is squared set equal to zero. So this is a really, really random one where I'm going to set it equal to zero. So I've got zero squared. So that would give me the maximum value, whichever way round I do it, is going to be five. And the minimum value will be three plus two lots of naught squared, which is three. And it's really, really awkward, this one. You get in examples of really, really awkward ones, which to be fair, I have never turned up on paper. They're on a different exam board, but the issue is that they could turn up on our papers. If it's on another exam board, it could be plus or minus one. It doesn't, you know, it, it means it could still come up on ours eventually. Whew. So there we go. What do you think of that one? So question one, we're dead straightforward. Question two, we think backwards. Question three, mess with your head. So this one's quite nice. So it's like four and five. So I'm going to get through these and we'll go through them more in class as well. But think about what happens if that is equal to 1. You would have 2 plus 4 over 3 lots of 1, which is 2 over 7. And think about what it was if it was minus 1. So if that box is minus 1, you have 2 plus 4 lots of 3 lots of minus 1, which would be 2 over 1, which is 2. So you've got to think the biggest value of a fraction is when you've got the smallest number on the bottom. And the smallest number of the fraction is when you have the biggest number on the bottom. So my maximum value is 2, and that happens when sine of theta minus 20 was minus 1, because you wanted the smallest value on the bottom to make the value of the fraction big. And that's 2 over 7, because you to make it as small as possible by making the bottom as big as possible. Proper random. So you've got to think fractions in this one. Big fraction, small denominator. This is nice. They're kind of very much thinking about it. It's really, really nice to think about it. You might not think so while you're doing these questions, but there you go. <laughs> the good news is we've got plenty of consolidation and loads and loads of extra questions. So if I think about that one, if that was a 1, I would have 5 over 7 minus 3 lots of 1. So I'd have 5 over 4. If I set that equal to minus 1, the box, I would have 7 minus 3 lots of minus 1. Got the fraction, and it will all feel a little bit, all feel a little bit like gibberish until we practice. The idea that if you let me go on about it, that's going to be five over ten, isn't it? So that's going to be a half. There. If you let me go on about it for long enough, it'll make sense. So the max value is five over four, and that happened when the sine of theta plus fifty was one. And the min value is a half. Everything's good, eh? I'm going to go on in a minute since I've done this. Sine theta plus 50 is minus 1. There we go. So it's about 25 past 3. Got, should go, really. Got to go pick my daughter up from school. So we've finished that. There's some consolidation questions on the next page. But we're done. This stuff is tough. It just needs plenty of time, which we've got if we do the bits. Right, bye-bye.